Augie. He needs to. Yeah, Augie, come here. Let's go out here in the garage. Uh, we got to put your weapons away. Come out here, we'll talk. You'll be all right. Um, in this video, we see what happens when a police officer's alcoholism after he wrecks his patrol car. On October 27, 2018, two officers were called by Officer Justin Augustine after he had hit a flatbed semi-trailer. When they arrived, Augustine was uncoordinated and slurring his words. Upon examination, they found significant damage done to the passenger side of the car, including the windshield and both passenger side windows being broken. Augustine claimed he was going 20 miles per hour, which was inconsistent with the damage. Augustine was taken back to the station, where he quickly made it clear that he wouldn't be cooperating. The, uh, the car's just being taken to Lumpkins. What's going on in there? Huh? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Uh, we got to put your weapons away. Okay. You're not... Um... Here, let me have a second unload it. Just need to unload it. What am I doing? Here, watch it. There you go. We got, uh, oh, sorry. When you total a vehicle, here, go in here. So we can put this way. When you total a vehicle, you got to go down for a, a, a drug and alcohol assessment. And everybody that wrecks a cruiser that totals it. Uh, has to go down there. So what we do is just take your taser off of you and uh, you have any backup weapons on your anything? Uh, drop your vest or your uh, duty belt because you don't need that. We're going to go down to a drug and alcohol test down at the hospital, you and I. And uh, you don't need all your gear. So take your... Uh, are you all right, Augie? Yeah. You seem... Oh, you, your focus seems divided on me. What's going on? You just nervous? Yeah. Okay. You're, are you under the influence of anything, Augie? No? Good. I hope not. I, I do. Lieutenant Byron takes the gear from Officer Justin Augustine after Augustine wrecked his patrol car. Anytime there is damage to a vehicle, the incident must be investigated. Protocol dictates that officers have to be tested for alcohol or drugs in their system. If both those come back clear, they will need an exam to see if there's a medical reason for their impairment. Where's your vest at? Uh, you don't have it on you? Okay. All right. What else do you got on you? I'm got done. Pocket knife, huh? I'm done. What's going on, though? Tell me what's I'm going done. on, bud. I'm done. What do you mean you're done? Are you going to go with me to take the test on you? You're refusing it? You don't want to do that. I'm done. Okay, so what does that mean? All right. Are you under the influence of something, Augie? What's wrong with you right now? I don't understand. I'm done. Okay. Are you going with me? No. So you're... What are you going to do? I'm going home. Can you call somebody to come get you? I don't need to. Well, I, I'm not going to let you drive. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, what? What? I'm not going to let you drive. Can you call your wife? <laughs> Seriously, Augie, can you call your wife? I can drive by Okay. All right. Let's go out here. All right. Don't don't play this game with me, bud. I'm trying to be your. I'm trying to help you out here. He ain't doing right. shit. Well, I can't do stuff. I'm just doing what I got to do. All it's my job. If you want to leave, go ahead and leave. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Augie. Don't do this, man. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. All right. I'm just doing my job. I'm just asking you to relax. Okay. I'm done. Okay. And I understand that. I understand what you're saying. All right. I just don't want you to do it like this. All right. I'm not trying to be a prick. I'm not trying to be difficult. You got to understand it's, it's my job, dude. All right. So don't treat me like that. If you want to be done, I understand that. So if you want to leave, that's up to you. Do you have your keys here? Where's your keys to the building? At? You got all that stuff? I Okay, I did. I no. I want to make sure it wasn't on that ring in there, and you need. I want. I'm not taking it. Okay. So, Augie, are you okay to drive, brother? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I'm worried about it. Yeah. All right. Well, get going then. Do what you got to do. All right. Augie, you need to, you need to get it. You need to relax. No, I. Huh? What'd you say? Who is? You just wrecked a cruiser. It's not the end of the world. 
Fuck that. I know, it's not the end of the world. We can do this, Augie. If you just go down and take the test like we're asking you, if you do that, then we can at least get that cleared to where you can come back to work. Seriously, Augie, I'm trying to help you, bud. Oh, huh? What'd you say? I don't want to... What'd you say? I'm fucked up. What do you mean you're fucked up? Alcohol? Pills? What are you talking about? Huh? Okay. All right. All right, Augie. I, I get that, bud. So I can't let you drive home, all right? Yeah, I can't. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You said you're fucked up. How are you going to drive home? I'm not fucked up. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. What? I, I'm, help me understand, Justin. What the fuck? You're talking about just in the head? Fuck you. Huh? We don't need to do this, Augie. What? Come on. We what? Don't, why are you doing this like Why are you doing me like that? Huh? What have I done to you for you to do that? Do me like that, man? <laughs> Seriously. Byron is pretty sure that alcohol is to blame although Augustine tries to deny it. But when Augustine breaks into tears, there can be no doubt that something is wrong. Byron pleads with him to go in for testing, or at the very least, call for a ride home. But Augustine is hostile to both ideas. I am honest to God being serious with you. What have I done to you for you to treat me like what that? What the fuck? Huh? What the fuck? I don't know. I didn't wreck the cruiser in there and then have to ask you to come out to take the test. Right okay. Fuck them. Okay. And again, I understand that, Augie, that you're upset. I get that. You're having a tough time right now with everything that's going on, bud. But it doesn't have to go out like this, okay? It's just an accident. Troy 421. Okay. The way I do. Out. Huh? The way I do. What do you mean, what do you do? What do you do? If it's just an accident, what do you do? You hit, you hit a semi-trailer, so again, as part of our policy, we have to go down with that and go take the test. If everything comes back okay, then that's great. It helps you, it benefits you. I'm being drunk. Huh? I'm drunk. You're drunk right now? No, I've been drunk. Been drunk when, today? Yeah. Okay, so you don't think you are now? No. Okay. Well, I can't let you drive the car home unless what we test positive. What the fuck are you going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah. Augie? Is that the, the way you're going to do this? You're about to get yourself arrested, bud. You're, I mean, for what? For, what, do you, what do you mean, what am I going to do? I can't let you drive. So you try to get in that car, i got to stop you. And then you're going to start fighting with me. What is that going to do? Huh? Seriously, Augie, I'm, why are you doing this to me? I didn't do anything to you. Okay? I didn't do anything to you. Well, let's go back in here so we can figure this out, Augie. Please. You know I got to call Jason, right? Are you going to cooperate? But just cooperate with me. They don't fuck with me. Augie, I, you know, huh? I know they are, and I, I understand that. Can you call your wife and have her come get you, bud? Yeah. Get your phone out and call her. <laughs> you don't have your phone? You want to use mine? What's this going to do? Huh? What's this going to do? I don't know. That's why I got a calling, so. <laughs> How much did you drink today, Augie? A lot. You know he's going to want to do a test, right? <laughs> no, I'm talking about your driving just like we would anybody else. You know what I mean? Not an employment test. He's gonna say, hey, this guy's driving a car, we need to test him. And I mean, you got the right to refuse it, but we gotta go through the process on that, Augie. And again, I want you to understand that I'm just oh, doing, fuck. I know, I know, you probably are, you're right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it or lie to you. Die. Huh? Augie, Augie, come on, bud. Come on, just calm down, bud. I understand you're upset, you gotta calm down. And remember, Augie. You just tell me you. Huh? I'm talking to you as a friend here, too. Fuck, I... Fuck you. All right. All right. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Fuck it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Did you have a wrong number? 
fuck? Let's go in here and, and sit down. What's your number, bud? Let me give Jason a call, bud. Yeah. Not. Go ahead. Yeah. Fuck you. Augustine knows that his career as a police officer is over, even if he is unable to process little beyond that fact. Byron is not going to sugarcoat things or try to cover this incident up, but it is evident from his tone of voice that he is worried for Augustine's well-being. Jason, this is Byron. Hey, uh, is there any chance you can come in so we can talk? Okay. Well, I don't know how much time we got as far as cooperation. He's not cooperating real well. He's right here in front of me. I'm not hiding or talking. I'm talking in front of him. Um, he's acknowledged that he was drinking today um, and whatnot. So um, that's where we're at now. How do you want us to proceed with that? Yes. He's refusing. He's refusing to be tested. So. Are you going? Are you going to go down for the test, Augie? He's refusing that. Okay. Right, bye. Thank you for being honest with me, Augie. You paid the bill. Huh? Yeah, you paid the bill eventually. What bill? Yeah. I don't know what that means, but yeah, you will. Don't do me like this, Justin. Yeah. I didn't do it. I'm not doing anything to you. Fuck you. Okay. I hate to see you like that, bud. I didn't I didn't do this, Augie. Why are you taking why are you taking it out on me? Yeah, it's on you. Huh? Yeah, it's on you. Okay. Alright. I'm just waiting for a phone call Connor, back. Just, just relax, bud. Are. Just relax. All right? Enough. MC relax. Go ahead. Just relax. 36 in Buckpack, Ohio Temporary. George I stand like this no matter where I'm at or what I'm doing. G833195. Just relax, Justin. 2014.
Byron. NC-52 checkup. Okay, fair. fair. All right, um, I don't know what level of cooperation we're going to get with that, but we'll do what we got to do. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to guess that this is going to be a fight. All right, bye. Augie, he's saying I got to do it like a 2255 form, so I got to read you the 2255 form. Do you understand that? Are you willing to hear me out and do it? All right, let's go in here and take care of that, bud. And then we'll get you out of here. As soon as your wife gets here, we'll get you out of here. All right? All right let's go into the, into the brief. Or the, uh, since you already said you're going to refuse it, there's no reason to do anything other than that. So um, I understand what you're saying. Just go in there and have a seat real quick so I can put my stuff away. Byron is not looking forward to dealing with Augustine, and it's a small wonder. Augustine is passive aggressive and could potentially get physical in this state. This is emotionally taxing for Byron as well. No one ever wants to watch a friend ruin their lives, and Byron not only has to watch, but he has to be a participant. Oh, my key not working now? There we go. Yeah. Do you have your driver's license on your or is it at home? You don't have it on you? Okay. 236 to 224, come in here. I gotta read the ref yes. test and refusal consequences to him, so I just need a witness. Uh, it says you're now under arrest for uh, OVI, operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol and a drug or a drug or a combination of them, operating a vehicle under the influence of a listed controlled substance or a listed metabolite of a controlled substance. Operating a vehicle under after underage alcohol consumption or having physical control of a vehicle while under the influence. If you refuse to take any chemical tests required by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended immediately and you will have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you have a commercial driver's license and refuse to submit to the test or test, you will immediately be placed out of service for 24 hours. You will be disqualified from operating a commercial motor vehicle for a period of not less than one year and you will be required to surrender your, com surrender your commercial driver's license to me. If you have a prior conviction of OVI, OVUAC, or operating a vehicle under the influence of a listed controlled substance or a listed metabolite of a controlled substance under state or municipal law with the preceding 20 years, you are now under arrest for state OVI. And if you refuse a test, take a chemical test, you will face increased penalties if you subsequently are convicted of the state OVI. If you have previously pled guilty or been convicted of two or more OVIs, OVUACs or equivalent offenses in the previous 10 years or plead guilty or been convicted of five or more OVIs, OVUACs or equivalent offenses in the previous 20 years or pled guilty or been convicted of a felony of any of the above violations and you refuse to submit to a chemical test required by law, I am authorized to use whatever reasonable means are necessary to ensure that you submit to a chemical test. So uh, if you take a chemical test, you may have an independent chemical test taken at your own expense, okay? I'll, I, you know how it works. I just need you to sign right there stating that that was read to you, okay? Okay. 
And it is your position that you want to refuse the test, correct? Okay. Let me go fill out the form here, and um, and we'll get back with you. And again, as soon as your wife gets here, we'll get you out of here, okay? Not going to be any citations issued or anything like that today. We'll just uh, um, get the form filled out, get you a copy of it, and uh, when your wife gets here, we'll get you out, okay? Or you can leave, obviously. So just sit tight. Yeah, just... Um, Hang it out in here with him just to mm -hmm. make sure he's okay if he needs to ask any questions or anything. Check it out, Ms. Cruiser. Keep an eye on that. Dealing with Augustine has shaken Byron. He can't recall his code, and his voice is thick with tension. Unfortunately, this is something that occurs far too often. Alcoholism and substance abuse are elevated in high-stress jobs, so it is almost inevitable for someone on the force to wind up in Augustine or Byron's positions. Yeah, I'm in here. Okay. I'm just filling out the 2255 form in here because I got all this information. Yeah, I read it to him. He's refusing. So, okay. um, I'm, if it's okay with you, uh, yes, if it's sir. okay with you, I'm not going to issue a citation right now. I'll write it out later and do what we got to do. Or how do you want that done? No, we'll treat it like a normal, normal okay. uh, OBI. Can you go get me a traffic ticket, please? Um, He's being more cooperative right now, but uh, okay. um, he, uh, st we're still up and down. Does he have his gun on? I got his gun away from him, his handgun, and uh, he had a taser on him. I took that away from him. Okay. Um, it's going to be a fight. There was a number of times when I was dealing with him that I thought it was going to go to that out there because he was telling me he was going home. Okay. And I told him he wasn't driving. His wife has been called. She's on her way in. Okay. Uh, he made a comment. I might as well be dead, but he didn't say I'm going to kill myself, so I didn't. Okay. We'll pass that on to his wife. Just got done with Here you can look at the pictures on my phone. I don't know how good they are because it wasn't the, an ideal situation. Yeah. Wow.
now that we got him back here, I'm a lot better, but I'm still uh, yeah. concerned about his behavior. But because I, I had him outside earlier when it was uh, dicey. And Lumpkins took it to their place. Yeah, it's going to be okay. put inside. I don't know what time it is for that would occur. I don't have the van for the cruiser. Let's use zero eight twenty. The paperwork is being written up, and Byron is using that time to allow Augustine to cool down, hoping he will be more cooperative when he goes back in to give him the ticket. Did you get a van? No. I thought it'd be under the property stuff, but I don't see, uh, see it in there. Would it be on the 145 back here in the vehicle maintenance logs? Would it be on one of them sheets, perhaps? No. Yeah. No. Well, maybe the initial one. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Thank you. Come back. Person's coming in. To talk to him? No, he's probably going to do a order him to do an admin blood draw after you guys are done. He's not going to do that. Well, you know what that means. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you, so let's not fight over it because he's basically he was driving me out there. His behavior was. Oh, really? He didn't come out and say, I'm going to kick your ass or do something, but he's, he's going, What are you going to do about it? He starts clenching up. It's a lot. Okay. Uh, his totally insubordinate. Okay. Uh, to the point where I, uh, again, I was calling you, telling me, yeah. basically let you know that we're going to fight. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting from you. Yeah, there was no question. Fortunately, I got him to calm down. Yeah. And there's something went on in here. He'll have to tell us later because I told him. Okay. To to him. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if we aren't there, if we don't get there yet. Okay. Um. He, uh, he also came to work today not wearing a vest. Like, dressed in... Right now, he doesn't have his vest on. I found that out when I took him in the arsenal to, to, um, to get, take his gun stuff from him. 
I asked him, because he lifted up his shirt, he doesn't have a vest. He came to work today, dressed, ready to go, and patrolled for an hour or so without a vest. Okay. It, it, there's more than enough. We just, we're done. Okay. What the hell was that? That's his credit card and his key. Where was that? Uh, the key was in the car, the credit card was on the floorboard. He gets some better pictures. Yeah. Oh, crap. Do you want them? Zip code, what's the zip code for Troy? Four five three seven three. I don't need him just yet. Byron informs his superior that Augustine hadn't even worn his vest into work, indicating that there has been something wrong with Augustine all day. Depending on the kind of calls Augustine could have been involved with, this could have potentially led to a fatal situation. Justin, here's a. Uh, Justin, can you look at me, bud? Please stay here now. Um, apparently, you dropped this Visa card at your uh, bank card. You dropped that there uh, in the cruiser. Uh, Justin, here's the BMB 2255 form for the refusal. And um, since we had so much time, I went ahead and wrote the citation out. The citation is going to be for the OVI refusal and then just reasonable control on private property. Um, what that is. So here's your copy of the 2255 form, and uh, I need you to sign the, uh, the ticket. Uh, what happened? If you'll just sign right here, get a copy of that. Your wife's still on the way, she's not here yet. She has to get the kids somewhere. And there's your copy of that. Okay, Justin. That concludes the criminal stuff. Uh, now I'm starting the administrative. Repercussions. To help you understand what I'm going to do is assign uh, Deputy Chief Preston as the internal affairs investigator. Uh, but there's a couple things we've got to deal with. Augustine is still under the influence, and it is hard to tell if he is fully able to understand what is going on. Right now, you, you're going to have to make some decisions, okay? Uh, and that is with some testing. I'm ordering you to do testing uh, that would not be used against you criminally. Uh, and do you understand why I have reasonable suspicion to do that? Okay. So you're required to do it, but of course it's not like we're going to hold you down and make you. So my question to you now is uh, what you have to do is uh, sign a form at the ER uh, before the testing that you would release the results of the test to the police department uh, and you would get your own copy as well. Uh, if you refuse to sign that form, then that would be considered insubordination and you'd be subject to disciplinary action. Uh, it's still your option to do that. And I, like to know if that's what your intention would be before we brought everyone down to the emergency room. Uh, you only have a little bit of time because we're on a two hour period that we're trying for to confer with an attorney or a union rep. And again, uh, understanding this will not be used as part of the criminal investigation. So with all that in mind, would you submit and uh, authorize release of, okay. At the ER. Okay. Uh, okay, and I'm a little worried too. I want to make sure that I think that'll be good because at the ER we can talk about or they can make sure you're okay to be cut loose. Okay. Because here's the other piece that we can't, and I'm sure it's no surprise to you. I'm placing you on administrative leave. Um, 
and every uh, uh, I hear you. I was hoping this was happening. This must have happened with Emma. And but this certainly puts you in, in a different position than you've been in even the last couple of weeks. It doesn't. We got to get this straightened out. But in the meantime, we have, remember, we've been talking for a while, but one day we're going to be in an adversarial situation. And right now we are. So I'm not the guy to be really comforting you or giving you advice. Okay, because right now I have to do what I need to do to protect the city and the department. Okay? So, uh, so yes, admittedly, you have to make yourself available if we call you any time during the day and say, Justin, we need you to come down here or something like that. You know, between the hours of, of 8 and 4, you still need to be available. Okay? So that you're, uh, whenever we're done, at, uh, you're still on payroll until we finish this testing. Uh, but then as soon as that's all done, then you're on admin leave until further notice. Okay. I am too. Uh, I was hoping the system we would never get to this point. But we all got to do what we got to do. So we'll be, uh, so Deputy Chief Preston will be working on what all is necessary for the testing. Uh, do you want us to try to get an attorney or a union rep? Mm -hmm. Huh? No? Okay. You, you are saying no to an attorney or a union rep right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so then we'll try to get this done as quickly as, as we can, get you home, and then... The anger is drained out of Augustine, leaving him in the teary, penitent state of drunkenness. And while he is being dealt with in a compassionate manner, this isn't something that is going to be swept under the rug. You need to start working on stuff, my friend. So, Deputy Chief Preston. Chief Preston will come read the rarity rights, and it's one of those special things, and then we'll start working on whatever has to be done. I've never been through this at the hospital, but whatever needs to be done down there. Okay. I hear you. I know you are. Okay. Uh, Preston will be in. That's your copy as well. Okay, Justin. Justin. You okay, bud? Justin. Justin. 
Do you need medical attention right now? Do you need medical attention, Justin? Justin, I gotta read you this, okay? You hereby order to fully cooperate with the investigating official. Your failure to cooperate will create an objective and subjective fear of termination. You have the following rights and responsibilities during this investigation. You have the right to be informed of the allegations involved. You will be asked questions specifically directed and narrowly related to the performance of your official duties. Statements made during any interviews may be used as evidence of misconduct or as the basis for seeking disciplinary action against you. Any statements made by you during these interviews cannot be used against you in any subsequent criminal proceeding, nor can the fruits of any of your statements be used against you in any subsequent criminal proceeding. If you so request, a person of your choice may be present to serve as a witness during the interviews. If you refuse to answer questioning related to the performance of your official duties, you'll be subject to dismissal. Do you understand that? Just we don't want you falling out of the seat, so that's why he's holding on your shoulder. We do have the slide. After being informed of what will be happening while he is under investigation, another officer steps over to prevent Augustine from falling out of his chair. After this incident, Justin Augustine resigned from the force. Once the investigation was completed, he was found guilty of first-degree misdemeanor weapon under the influence and first-degree misdemeanor physical control of vehicle while under the influence. He was sentenced to one year of probation, 177 days of suspended jail time, a $300 fine and court costs, plus an additional three days in jail, which were dismissed after he completed an educational program.